Hey guys, it's Crazy Pickle, and this is another episode for the Beginner's Guide series. So today we're gonna talk about what class you should op open first or unlock, right? Uh, you're probably gonna ask if it's kind of late video about that, but since there is a lot, uh, the not small amount of Sparkle transformation required for the class to open. And I wouldn't even rush on that too, so you can you still have three different classes from the beginning, which is the Paladin, uh, Lightbinder as a support, and uh, Cryomancer as a DPS class. Cryomancer is a pretty good class, and you can play with that class for a long, long time until you decide to get play a different class or get something new and kind of learn something new. So, all right, well. Um, let's get started I guess so as you know and I mentioned that on some of on a, some of my video uh, where the actual classes are where you actually unlock them so if you're gonna go to the provinces each province has t uh, class temples so this is your first provinces and this is your first th uh, three classes that you have right so and each uh, provinces has different class like uh, this province has the berserker then it goes archer um, revenant slayer kinetic monk and what, necromancer witch uh, knight and gunner and outlaw so this is where you go to open the temple, what class you want to unlock, and you will have the button here shows you how much spark of transformation you need. Usually it's 30k. I believe some classes are 35. Probably only one class is 35. It's probably Revenant. So it's going to be the button here. You just push that to unlock, and boom, class is unlocked, and you can start learning uh, the abilities for the specific class you want to play. Uh, my suggestion would be, since uh, since it's just for the kind of most of the part of this video, just for the beginners, for the new players, or at least if you you kind of still new, but you're already in some uh, content of the game, but you still fully don't understand and you you don't know what to do and stuff like that. So uh, I would suggest for now strictly learn DPS classes and the, my suggestion would be definitely Revenant and since it's 35,000 spark of transformation I would probably unlock that class first and the, the, the funny part that, about that class when the, the first time when they released that class uh, it was just way overpowered like even anywhere like in PvE content or PvP like it was way overpowered so they just decided to a little bit put some nerf on it so they nerfed the class but it's still it's still that class is really good even with the few nerfs that they put on that class it's still good so I would probably unlock that first and if you're not fan of melee class but I would still suggest to have that class, at least in the early stages. Uh, but if you're not uh, really fan of the melee classes, then I would unlock Outlaw. And, and then, so you might also notice that in the beginning, uh, maybe like second or third day, it will give you the special offer, which the like $2... Uh, the outlaw pack it gives you the class token for the outlaw from margins credits and all that so and it's really worth it to get that so if you got it then you're good so you have an outlaw class perfect um, if you don't then you, and you like ranged uh, classes I would unlock outlaw first so it's pretty much the main classes would be revenant outlaw and and I would definitely unlock the alchemist. Uh, where, where, where? It's gonna be right over here. 
So the alchemist is right here. So alchemist is pretty much as a support class, but because of that talent, it's pretty much right now as a really good DPS class. Uh, if you put like all damage weapon and just build a full DPS stats on that class, uh, it's just it's ridiculous. Um, so that talent is really good and it's really worth it to get it too. Uh, but for the beginning, uh, I would choose between Revenant and Outlaw. But if you have an Outlaw already, then it's cool. I mean, you can just play Outlaw as long as you want to and just keep saving the Spark of Transformation um, and just then unlock the classes uh, you want. Uh, so, but eventually you actually gonna open all classes anyway so it's just gonna take time until you're gonna collect each time 30k uh, spark of transformation and then just unlock the classes but the order uh, but the order would be uh, let's say if you don't have outlaw right then you would probably choose between melee which is revenant and outlaw it's a range you can be choose between those two first I mean if you want to play melee class, choose Revenant. If range, Outlaw. So these two classes would be the first, and it's up to you which one you want to unlock first. But let's say if you have already Outlaw, then go for the Revenant, then you can go Alchemist, and then definitely you can also unlock Knight. Uh, you're going to ask me why, since it's also the defense class. Uh, so the thing is that Paladin is a really good defense uh, class. It's really good too. It has a lot of. Uh, it's, I think it's like two shields and survivability is really good. Um, Knight is it. It's really sometimes for some people. Some people say Knight better uh, than Paladin. Then some people can say Paladin better than Knight. And stuff like that but they kind of similar they they really good in their ways so there is no like really big flaws that they oh they really suck at that or something like that so at some point each class they're really good at something so there is no little things that they oh that class can handle that and it, it just completely sucks no they both good tanks um, but yeah, so you can just unlock the Revenant, Outlaw, um, and Knight, and Alchemist, of course. So, but, and again, it's just, I'm telling you right now, just the order. I mean, you can play, you can unlock any different, in any order. That's what I meant. In any, you can unlock in any order. Uh, but this is kind of a main classes that usually requires uh, for the high content. I mean, because you unlocked that class, right? You play that class and you learn that class. So kind of a, you're doing like a few things at the same time. So that's kind of a really good thing too. Because when you get to that point where you need to run high contents, people will know that okay that that person knows how to play a uh, knight or alchemist or uh, revenant or outlaw or whatever any other class so you will have more chances kind of get to the groups and do the high contents in the game so and just complete it and get good stuff rewards and all that so and definitely yes definitely each time each time you unlock the class uh, learn the class, kind of try it. Uh, I will try to do my best to at least cover the main classes and make it kind of a tutorials and uh, what's that word? Uh, like combinations, you know, like how to play that class in specific, like how to properly use their skills I would say in that way in, in which order and all that stuff like that so it's definitely gonna take a lot of time to prepare for that and kind of you know cover everything um, 
So uh, I will prob I will do my best to do that, guys, for you. But for now, just try to you know open the class while you're learning skills, which is you just have to kill the enemies to op to open new abilities. So uh, which you can do in any when you do the directives or you do the region stuff like that. So. You kind of just try to you know read about the abilities and all that, just kind of what they do and just kind of test it, try it. So uh, the best way probably if you like do something like that is say when you do the region, because the enemies there is really weak, so you can kind of just play with that class around in a specific region you trying to complete. So yeah, and. If you don't know where you get the spark of transformation, then uh, okay, we're gonna open that. We're gonna open adventure list. So the first time, each time you actually get, uh, I believe, 500 spark of transformation for the first clear of the new map. So all the maps, all these maps, which was in provinces, all that what we call in whatever golden road right all these missions the first clear was giving you 500 spark of transformation so you cleared it once you got 500 that's it so if you're gonna go there again it's not gonna give you 500 again uh, then the group missions uh, first clear of the group mission I believe gives you I believe it gives you uh, uh, a thousand, uh, 1250 and the first clear of the party mission gives you 2500 so pretty much all the mi you complete all of this and you you pretty much when you finished all the squad mission and then you finished all the group missions plus three party missions you might have enough spark of transformation uh, to unlock at least one class but then what happens uh, you only start getting uh, spark of transformation from completing set of directives and in the missions like squads or group mission there will be random drops from the monsters. It could be a green quality uh, item, which gives you, I believe, uh, what, 100 spark of transformation. Then it's blue, and the rare is purple. So purple probably the highest one that you can get. Never saw that somebody could get a legendary. I guess it's the green, blue, and purple. So I think the purple gives you 500 or more. Uh, so yeah, every time you just complete the mission, you have a chance to get the drop from the monsters, uh, and you will possibly you can get at least possibly get at least one or maybe two drops, definitely. So like this, the way system works, as long as you have a bunch of classes locked and you need the spark of transformation to unlock them you will get those items and you will always get the 500 spark of transformation by completing set of directives when you come when you unlock all the classes then you're not gonna get spark of transformation anymore so that's kind of a good thing yeah it's gonna take a lot of time to actually unlock all of them but in my opinion I don't think you need all the classes unlocked so since there is specific classes that you a lot of a lot of people using it all the time to complete specific contents like distortions or avatar or just go and do uh, specific missions so you you don't use all the classes every time so like just impossible so I would probably just open I, w I will actually suggest to you to actually open the classes that most often you or everybody using and learn them as good as you can and you'll be good so you pretty much don't need I mean you can you definitely can unlock when you 
unlock the main classes first, and then just well, because you still get in Spark of Transformation, just you can unlock it and just be with it. So you don't really have to uh, worry about the other classes. So, um, well, I think this is it for this video. So let's just kind of a, a recap. I'm just gonna open the equipment tab. Um, so, if you don't have an outlaw, unlock the outlaw or choose between outlaw or revenant, right? Revenant or outlaw first. So, when you are, let's say, if you have outlaw, then definitely go revenant. Then, then you can either choose alchemist and knight. And I would actually suggest to unlock Necromancer too. So, because Necromancer is a really good class too and required actually some uh, content too. Uh, Berserker could be after Necromancer, so you need some time, like in a, maybe one dis uh, invasion, you need that class, but for the most part, it's it's useful it's just in little missions so okay we're gonna go revenant outlaw and alchemist knight necromancer berserker so i would kind of keep for now in this uh this is kind of a main classes that you just kind of open and kind of learn a bit of about it so and okay spark of transformation you get from uh, completing the set of directives and by collecting trophies from the enemies which i was talking about those green blue purple items and by completing adventures for the first time so if you complete already all the adventures for the first time then it's going to be just directives and trophies from the enemies and yeah guys this is it so just keep doing missions keep doing directives get those sparks it's gonna take time i agree every time thirty thousand for each class it's pretty much it's pretty long way you know for the one class but you'll get there and just when you unlock the class learn it Kind of play with it, see what it does, which skill, which maybe you can even come up with your own combination that you think is really good and it's perfect. So everybody has their own way to uh, play, you know, kind of what they feel comfortable, you know, with. All right, guys. So if this video helped you a bit about the classes, um, like we, at least which one you're gonna pick first, then hit the like button. Uh, if you're new, if you see this video for the first time and you're not subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button and I will make more video about the beginners guide for the beginners uh, guide series. And there is still a lot of stuff to cover. I'm doing my best to come up with a little plan which I'm gonna put next um, in order. So, alright guys, this is it for this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button to know where I post a new video, and on the, in this time I will see you in the next video, and take care guys.